Whew, what is up everybody? Um, so I was gonna film as I was driving, but I forgot and I got here and I realized that I didn't fucking film. So um, yeah, we're at you pull it, the uh, pick and pull, the junkyard, the fucking car heaven, you know? Um, I sold a car to a kid really quick. I went to go trim up my beard down here and uh, I fucked it up so I had to cut it all off. And I didn't want to cut this, you know? I didn't even want to cut that. So it's kind of like, man, so I feel like this looks stupid, though. Let me know what you guys think. It looks fooly, I know. Um, but yeah, no, I sold a car, and I told the kid, hey, if you're going to get rid of it, let me know. This car has got a lot of sentimental value. And he, uh, he just junked it. So I am going to come here, check it out, and maybe pull some parts off of it. So yeah. And then I'm taking it. Bah. Ooh, that's a good one, huh? All right, so we are in. And, uh, yeah, so now we're on the hunt for the, oh, man, I got the burps, uh, on the hunt for the car and some parts, you know, maybe we can, uh, get some shit today, maybe not, I don't know, um, I had full plans on getting stuff to come here, uh, but, uh, just because you have plans to get stuff at you pull it, don't mean you'll get it, because, you know, what the fuck, it's a junkyard, so, yeah, well, uh, if I see anything cool, I'll let you guys know, hopefully there's some, some oh, man, look at that. Right away, right as I'm filming still. Oh, this hurts my heart. Motherfucking dirtbag. I hope you watch this, you fucking bitch. Asshole, I told you I wanted it back. Motherfucker. Oh. Brutal. That's my old car. Kind of meant a lot to me, but... Oh, well. Well, there it is. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna go off camera for a minute, check it out, see what's uh, salvageable. I see the back coilover is already taken out, which sucks because I wanted the top hats. Um, but oh well, I'm gonna, yeah. I'll... What's up? So, um, it's only been a couple minutes. I kind of had to walk around and uh, just check the car out. I honestly wasn't expecting to run into it like that on camera. Um, it just really upsets me because I told him that if he was going to junk it, let me know. You know, if you're going to sell it, cool, you're going to sell it, you're going to make some money, but if you're going to junk it, like, what the fuck? Um, so, I mean, that, that's just kind of frustrating. He's like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I will, I will, I'll let you know. Okay, well, thanks for letting me know. Um, this car has had a lot of sentimental value. I drove to Des Moines to pick it up, and then I had seriously put a fucking ton of work into it. Um, I needed a truck, I needed a more daily vehicle, and this was more of a project, so that's why I traded it, just so people aren't like, oh, well, you traded it, you didn't care about it. Um, I kind of just, I needed to, and I traded for the truck that I drive, uh, which is a good truck, but <sighs> not rambling. Um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and take these coilovers, or uh, <laughs> correction, lower control arms. Uh, because I think they're good. This bushing looks pretty good still. Um, so I'm going to pull them off and then check them out. It's only two bolts. Coilover is already gone. So it would be super easy to take out. And then uh, I'll actually be able to really check it out and see if we really want them. Um, if they are good, that would be great. Because these will go on the CRX. And I could put that back. So, well, I could put some of the back stuff on. Well, I can't put any on because I got coilover still. But anyways, okay.
Um, uh, that's really weird. This bolt was broke or something. I'm assuming they tried to keep these or something, and uh, or somebody else tried to take them off of the junkyard, I guess. Um, but the fucking things were. It, look here, I'll show you. So this, I don't know if you can see it. That's like the sleeve that goes into the uh, LCA. It uh, it's broke and it was just spinning, um, and I just kind of got upset and just pulled on it and it just bent. I was like, cool. So it came right out. Um, the uh, sleeve is missing because I can't get it off because it's like fucking seized on there so hopefully I can buy new bushings I'm assuming I should be able to I don't think that would be too difficult to do um, but yeah so there we go we got lower control arms for the CRX uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the other side and then uh, maybe do some more walking I don't know but yeah so that's cool good news so I'm still sitting here um, I have you pull up the prices on my phone and I actually I should do this first I guess now that I know um, that control arm is 22 bucks with a two dollar core, so that's 24 dollars. Um, so total that would be 48 dollars. I can buy brand new ones of the same exact ones for 45 dollars with free shipping. So I don't know why I'd buy used ones. Um, yeah, so I guess I, I feel kind of stupid now. <laughs> but um, yeah, I guess let's walk around and see if we can find a golden turbo or something. <sighs> All right, so we're back from you pull it. Um, I kind of walked around the yard there, uh, there really wasn't shit else there, nothing cool, nothing, no golden turbos or nothing. Um, I got a bunch of like small miscellaneous stuff, um, the other, like I said, there's nothing good. So, I got these, I thought these were pretty cool, I don't know, I just saw them laying on the ground, so I was like, whatever. Um, I don't know, I figured it'd be good in the truck, you know, like, bolt it down. And then hopefully you can see that because I'm using the front face, but um, yeah. I mean, I don't know, those are cool. I got three of those. Um, the slave cylinder off my car. Uh, it's brand new and I actually have a warranty for that. So, I mean, why not grab that? I mean, I'll put it on my next car or something. This'll work for the next project car we're getting. So that's cool. Um, got some hood pins. And these are all off my car, except for these obviously, because those were on the ground. Um, hood pins just because uh, I kind of like to just delete the hood latch. Um, hood pins are kind of convenient to me, uh, to my opinion. I got this. It's a little power block. This thing was great. Um, it really saved my ass a lot. On the Hondas, you need power to uh, power from battery to starter to fuse box. So this is great because you can just put them into each one of the holes. Super awesome. It's convenient. Um, a shitty little clip. Uh, it's an inch and three quarter. Uh, the, I like having these around in the garage. I think this is actually what my wife's car has, inch and three quarters maybe. Um, so that's kind of cool. And we did we did get something cool. We did. I I'm excited to have this back to be honest. Um, this is gonna go in the next car as well. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited. So it's a pro car by Scat full bucket um i really like this seat and the eg that it was in uh i i think it's a good seat it really hugs you holds you in um so that's pretty cool that's gonna be great because the next project is gonna be my thrash car that i just beat on so this will be cool it'll really be able to keep me in my seat and we'll be able to really lay into some shit so pretty cool that I got that so I was hoping to get more I wanted to get some suspension stuff some top hats uh, the back coilovers were gone uh, and I didn't want to just get the front two uh, I wanted to get the full set so that's kind of a bummer I was kind of planning on just snagging the all coilovers and just rocking those because they weren't that bad uh, but whatever we'll just have to buy new shit now uh, so that, that's be it I don't got nothing else to do tonight uh, nor do, I don't really want to do anything else, I'm just being honest. So yeah, I'm going to go relax. You guys, make sure you hit that like button. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe for more great, beautiful face. And I will see you guys very soon. Thank you so much.